Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, Walk on Wall Street. A uh, quick update for you on the markets as we head into the US session. Um, we have a week session in Europe uh, led by the DAX. Uh, it's off sharply today after uh, uh, SAP uh, results were soft. In fact, its outlook for the next few years were, was really revised down. Um, now, there's some indication that it's to do businesses not really wanting to invest, but um, you know, SAP is a company that's really failed to really um, exp really ride on the coattails of the massive expanse in the cloud sector that there has been. Um, and so uh, we still look to Microsoft and Amazon earnings later this week for a real uh, read on what's going on in the cloud space. Um, UK 100 trading here at 58.50, uh, just been hovering around that region really for the day. Um, if we bring it down to a one hour chart, you could see, and there's our, um, that's from Friday, where are we up to? Here we are, here's our open, uh, pop in the open off the futures and then has steadied around 58.50. The DAX down there and uh, the USA 500, the S&P 500 is down uh, by almost 1% today, 34.33 uh, there. Looking at that 50 day moving average, um, if we pull this one out um, and look at the chart in a bit more detail on the USA 500. Looking at this 50-day moving average around 34.10, I think uh, that's in, in that's in with futures prices though. So I think on the cash-only equity market, it's 30. It's around 34.05, but around that region there, 50-day moving average is our uh, first real support. Remember, we've had this crossover in the MACD as well. Um, momentum being affected by stimulus or lack of. US election next week coming up. Lots of political and uh, sort of uh, macroeconomic risks really that are, are, are weighing. And of course, earnings season. We're in full uh, earnings season mode right now. And this week, 183 companies from the S&P 500 are reporting. So um, including the biggest cap names. Dollar index steady at 93. That's where it was this morning when we uh, did our European Open, not moved off that level. And therefore, I think uh, when we look at cable, holding at 1.30 there. Brexit talks resuming this week, uh, but no real movement from the cable right now. Bitcoin futures higher, steadily marching up after that PayPal news last week that we saw uh, pushed the market higher. And now we are starting to break free from the ranges that we've been in. Uh, big level up here around 13, where are we up to? 13.80.66. Sorry, 13, uh, 13,866, uh, I think is what I've got there. Um, that would be the highest since June uh, 19, and that's not been seen since the big ramp that we got uh, prior to that. So keep your eye on Bitcoin futures, they're still moving higher. Uh, that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching.